It's just your typical Saturday for me. Another load of wood, guys, because the weather still hasn't warmed up enough. So as you can see, I started unloading it and threw a bunch in here. It's got a bit to go before it's warmed up and it hasn't flamed up yet. So I'm going to leave it alone for a bit. Just let the door open on it. Let the air get at it. Um, I was down to my last few sticks. As you can see, that was burning that one there. A few others. So I threw a bunch more in there. Some green wood in there. Mix it with the dry stuff. So and like I said, this stuff doesn't matter if it's green wood or not. So I don't have any problems. I don't have to rope with the chimney catching fire, you know, because that's what one of the main things that happens. People don't keep their chimneys cleaned out. And you get a uh, coro the uh, chrysos, the stuff here on the side here that catches fire. This stuff burns right off. When I when it gets blazing, this just burns right off, melts. And that's exactly, see, right here again. Okay? And that's what that is. And it doesn't hurt because it's outside, like I said. So it can't do anything. I can't, it doesn't catch the fire. It's, and it's 50 feet from my house. So, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I keep everything contained and I keep an eye on my uh, thing. And I have fire extinguishers out here too. There's actually uh, one there, there's a couple in the shed. So if I ever have anything that gets ever out of hand, there's at least four or five extinguishers out here. So, and yeah, we got a bunch of snow guys again over uh, yesterday and overnight. So as you can see, there's where my truck just went into it. And that's how much snow we got. That's how deep it is. You can see, I don't know if you can see the hat. So I backed up and then I, I pulled ahead. That's how much snow we got. We got quite a bit of snow again. My brother-in-law came in and plowed it this morning, plowed the road. Uh, I got this load of wood from my niece. Uh, her boyfriend cut it all up. He splits it because he knows I'm, have a hard, I'm having a hard time with the big blocks. I still got one big one over there. It's got to be rolled over here at some point. There's a few others in here, but I can't get them loose. And I've even used a sledgehammer. I have the sledgehammer out here so I can bust them loose and stuff, guys. But unfortunately, I'm not having any luck with those ones. So that's why I said to heck with it. I went and got another load of wood. And there's a couple big, big ones there yet. It's got to be split. They won't even fit in. So, but I think that one over there will fit in if I can get Brian or someone. I don't know, because I don't think I'm going to be able to put it in myself. I just, you know, depends on my day, though. If my day's good, my back's good, I'll probably be able to put it in. But if my back's acting up, nope. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's got snow on it, guys. As you can see, it'll start burning. And it, get, it just takes a bit for it to, to get enough air in it. Because it's underneath. You can see it's blazing. There is a bit of a fire underneath. I don't know if you can see it, but it will catch. I give it a bite. So I'm done unloading this truck. There'll be some flame coming out of this. So, because there's, it's dry wood on the bottom. Like this is dry, green, dry. A couple more dr uh, green pieces in here I threw in. But most of it's dry so far that I've thrown in there. So, it's just wet from being outside. Like, you know, wet from the snow we just got and stuff. So, we're going to get this unloaded in here. Enough of me yammering, guys. I'm going to get this unloaded. Enough of the yammering. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.